गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम डॉक्टर निखिल फ्रॉम सेंटर फॉर एडवांस कंप्यूटेशनल रिसर्च न्यू दिल्ली uh before we start a session let me quickly confirm am i clearly audible and screen is also visible to all of you yes sir yes sir yes so let us yes, sir. Uh, begin the training session so let us begin the training session on uh density functional theory modeling of material wherein we are going to deal uh, in terms of nanoparticle and unit cell uh, before we go ahead uh, just give me a second i can see that there are few participants who have joined from the previous week workshop so for those who have joined from the previous week we are left with a one day session and that will take on coming wednesday so this is a new session maybe if you would like to stay you can stay in the meeting otherwise we will be meeting on coming wednesday okay i think there is a rakesh a purva a few more are there so those who are from the last week we will meet up on coming wednesday uh, morning or evening any time you can join okay so okay, uh, continue uh, continuing with the new one uh, okay fine so few instruct standard instructions are there uh, i think few participants are still joining okay let's start this session so basically what we are going to do it we are going to do the density functional theory of uh, modeling of materials and the materials which we are going to deal essentially they are the nanoparticles then films and then uh, crystalline systems so crystalline systems basically will deal with the solid state systems wherein will have the definite unit cell structure now to progress ahead uh let us first do one thing let us first download the software one more thing uh, during the session series of questions uh will be asked so therefore to use the chat box instead of a vocal message because that uh, doesn't disturb the participant so there in, in the chat box you can reply with yes no or uh, whatsoever question or query you have uh now moving ahead let us quickly do one thing let us quickly start with the downloading of our software it's a hands on training so what you can do it you can take up your laptop with you right now and can do the steps parallelly with us i have allowed the screen sharing that means if you face any difficulty uh, you can say uh, share your screen and then we'll see uh, how it can be rectified uh we are recording the session and these recordings will be shared with all of you uh by the next day morning that means today's recording will be uploaded onto the google drive uh, by tomorrow morning uh, and all of you will get it so uh, it is irrespective of whether you will be able to attend the live session or not the recordings all of you will get it for the future reference because learning the dft calculation within a single uh stands they will not be feasible so these recordings you can keep it with you for as long as you want it now moving ahead uh, i hope all of you would have got this sort of a mail wherein one google drive link is given so when you click on this google drive link you will be directed over here uh, and in this link uh, in this drive link you have one folder which is named as software application so basically we want two softwares to be installed on this system uh, they are purai and the java runtime now majority of you would be using the windows platform and we'll be giving a training on windows platform so i they assume that majority of you would be having java runtime but if you don't have it you can download it from here and install it there is a alternative way to download the software that you can download these software from their official website uh in a google if you look for the bureau so you can click on the download panel over here and then you will get all three type of version on our drive we have given only windows supportable version so over here you have the mac as well as the ubuntu this link i am giving in the chat box so that it will remain all of you whatsoever there is in the chat box that will also be shared with all of you so those who would like to download from their official site 
please download from here. Otherwise, you get alternatively down from the Google Drive. Please start with the downloading process. Right click, click on the download option. It's a bit heavy file, so we'll take up a bit of a time. Those who are already done, it's very good. Next software is the Java runtime. Now, meanwhile, the downloading of software is going on. Please don't attempt to install the software. Uh, there is a very restricted condition to install the software. So I'll give the instruction and then only you install the software. Now, meanwhile, uh, till the time the software downloading is going on, let us quickly see what exactly we are going to do it. So in a reference folder, we have uh, provided five research articles. Maybe you can start uh, uh, to have a look on them and then eventually we'll uh, end up uh, with all the calculation, which are the majority of the calculations which are given in uh, these five research articles. Let us say you open the research article number five. Therein, people, uh, we would have highlighted some portion over here. Now, this was published in AIP uh, 2022, a recent article. Therein, people have investigated the density functional theory model calculation of different metal dopants influence on the structural and the electronic properties of uh, lead oxide. And the system was basically a tetragonal alpha type. So maybe if you go through this research article, you will find let me enlarge, that uh, we are going to do these steps in this computational work. Uh, we will use the density functional theory implemented within the quantum espresso. I'll explain what is this quantum espresso. And then people have described their system. Then people have written these few words. Participant, don't get nervous with these few words. Just have a look of them. PZ, LDA, GGA, PDE. And then you have ultra soft, pseudo potential. Right now, they will look like, uh, is audio on? Am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are, right now, there are few words which are mentioned over here. Don't get nervous. They are a bit easier to understand, but uh, in a research article, they look like a little complicated. And then they have given some kinetic energy cutoff, K points, uh, and then some energy in the terms of red bug, then convergence, and then uh, Mongo's pack uh, K points, K points, metrics, density of states, high symmetry point, geometry optimization, ground state structure, BFGS method, and then uh, they have not reported the density of states. Otherwise, they would have mentioned that density of states as well. So please take a lot of all these words. Eventually, you will be able to learn all of them. Similarly, if you open the next article, I think this is the, yeah, this is the supporting information of JPC letter. Uh, here in the people have used the software quantum espresso to study the toxic uh, oxy anion from uh, water using metal organic framework MOF. So again, these people have used the quantum espresso software. We are going to use the same thing. And if you look at again, these people have given those similar words: geometry optimization, BFGS, self-consistent SCF calculation, convergence, ultra soft kinetic energy. So go through all this research article uh, so that the words which we will use, it will look little familiar to you. Okay, this you can do it after the today's session. Now, let's see what is this Burai and what is the quantum espresso. So, participant, computational science or computation chemistry or uh, I, I would say the computational investigation of material science uh, basically can be carried out using three different type of model. The first one is the quantum mechanical model. Second one is the classical mechanical model. No slides. On my screen, we are just having a vocal discussion. So uh, the calculation can be of quantum mechanical type. It can be of molecular mechanical type, or it can be of empirical calculation. Uh, now, if I talk about, I think there are uh, majority of research scholars. Uh, out of 80 part registered participants, we have 13 faculties and uh, 67 research scholars. So part of, uh, research scholar, there is a question for all of you. Out of quantum mechanical calculation and classical mechanical calculation, which will be more 
accurate in terms of the result. Think about it, which will better describe your system. The quantum mechanical equations or molecular mechanical equation. Molecular mechanical, when I say it is basically the classical mechanics based on Newton mechanics. In the chat box, you can quickly reply with quantum mechanical or molecular mechanical. Exactly. It's going to be a quantum mechanical because quantum mechanics take account of all sort of inter-electronic repulsion, attraction, kinetic energy, potential energy. It takes account of all sort of interaction. But classical mechanical calculation, it treats atoms just like a ball and bonds just like a spring. So basically classical mechanical calculation or molecular mechanical calculation it relies on a ball and spring model given by the Newton mechanics, which is not accurate enough for uh, the atomic level properties. Now, when we deal with the thin films, essentially we are going to predict the properties of thin films and then uh, solid state devices, uh, crystalline materials, nanoparticles. So essentially all of them consist of huge number of atoms. Uh, if you will see a lattice corresponding to NS here, you will find, I am not uh, keeping any uh, uh, slide on my screen. We are just having a focus uh, discussion. Slide is not a scope of the uh, training. Uh, just for five, 10 minutes, we are having a some discussion. So where I was, I was over here. Uh, yeah. So uh, these type of materials, they consist of huge number of atoms. So prior to 2016, uh, executing the quantum mechanical level calculation for all these type of materials were very challenging because more the number of atoms, the complexity of the Schrodinger equation increases and then the solution become trivial. So people used to prefer the molecular mechanical calculation. But with the advent of so uh, much deviations or derivations of the density functional theory models, or any quantum mechanical model or in the literature, you will find so many. Now, people have started to carry out quantum mechanical calculation for even a macroscopic or big system to get an accurate result. Tell me, is this one clear to all of you or not? That starting from 2016, the applicability of the quantum mechanical model, even for a microscopic system, have gained the momentum. Great. Now, how come? Uh, how come? Because from 2016 onward, there are various theoretical researcher groups who continuously work to simplify the Schrodinger equation implemented in the Consham density functional theory model. Parallelly, the computational resources are increasing day by day. So therefore, uh, these two uh, these two factors rather. Uh, increase the applicability of the computational science uh, in material properties investigation. Now, what we are going to do it to execute any quantum mechanical calculation, you require standard software packages. In literature, you will find that properties of the these listed material can be evaluated by a variety of software. You have a Schrodinger, you have VAS, materials project, material studio, and then you have a quantum espresso. Now, majority of them are the paid one. And their prices are very huge uh, for research scholars, as well as those faculty members who are new uh, in the private institution. Uh, government institution, funding is not a major problem. But those who are in the private institution, they get funding uh, very at a very difficult uh, time. So, therefore, in our session, we are going to use a software which is completely free for the academic purpose. And the name of the software is Quantum Espresso. Now, in a Google, if you search Quantum Espresso, because previously some participants said that, sir, since it's a free software, can we use this software to publish the result? Or does this software provide accurate result to be reported in the research article? So you can see that this quantum espresso software, if you scroll down uh, on this page, the research article which was conceptualized 
in 2009 it was conceptualized in 2009 and till now the number of citation have crossed 26000 so you can imagine if a software within a short span of uh, 14 year garnered 26000 plus citation i don't think so there will be a, a question on the applicability of this software so again you can use this software for your research publication okay now quantum espresso free software so like it's a free software there is a bit of a disadvantage as well that this particular software lacks its own user interface on the another hand shudinger was they have their own user interface now when i say user interface we mean to say uh, on those software you can open a some uh, uh, window like ms excel ms word wherein you can just do the click 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 and then the things will be done for you but in case of quantum espresso you need to learn the programming codes and they need to be written in a very specific manner that becomes very 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 difficult for the beginners to learn so therefore we are going to use a software platform which is not named as burai now understand the role of burai burai is basically a graphical user interface system of quantum espresso that means burai we will use to design the molecular systems to write down the necessary programming codes for the calculation but the calculation will be executed by the quantum espresso and then quantum espresso will yield the result which will again be analyzed by the burai so in a summary you can say that burai will not execute any calculation calculation will still be performed by the quantum espresso but all those coding result analysis that will be done by the burai and burai is just a graphical user interface there and when we do click 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 it will do all sort of programming which are required so we don't have to learn the programming participant is this point clear to all of you or not the role of burai and the quantum espresso calculation will be executed by quantum espresso burai is just a graphical user interface so in your research article don't report or in your presentation don't report that you have used burai for the density functional theory calculation burai does not perform any density functional theory calculation calculations are performed by quantum espresso burai is just a interface nothing more than that now with this small introduction i hope all of you would be done with the downloading of a software which is named as burai those who are done with the downloading of the software burai quickly reply in the chat box with a done so that we can start with the installation of it great i can see majority of you are done by this time now how to install see basically what you have to do is those participant now see over here so those who have downloaded the software from the drive which is being shared with all of you here in we have given the extracted <clears throat> extracted version of a burai that means what exactly you have to do it the file which you have downloaded from here you would have got it as a zip file now this zip file you need to uh, unzip into a c drive let me show you <clears throat> yes yes so most probably all of you would have got a file folder nine like this burai 1.3 uh, windows now this is a zip file so what you need to do is you need to unzip it to unzip right click click on uh, extract all otherwise you can click on extract all from here now when you click on the extract all a window like this will pop up participant see very very carefully over here otherwise later on i won't be able to rectify the problem because this is a very restricted condition to install the burai now you cannot install the burai in any location at any location location should be very specific 
where click on the browse option when you click on the browse option you need to navigate to a folder which is named as this pc within this pc you need to select your drive wherein the windows is present that means c drive open the c drive that's it no stuff folder just say, click on the select folder after execution of this particular step please make sure that you have only c prompt over here nothing more than that and then click on the extract so when you click on the extract the extraction will begin and eventually you will get one folder within your c drive like this and then within that particular folder you will get four sub folder so please do the extraction part and then those who get these four folder reply me in the chat box done great great i'll just wait for some 10 15 second let other participants also complete it we'll go little slow uh but uh, it's fine so that everybody can learn it now moving ahead uh now moving ahead how to run this software what you can do it in the search panel you can look for a bri in the search panel you can look for the bri if this icon is there it is very good if it is not there then what you can do it please open this bin folder when you open this bin folder there is a file named as bri when you double click on it the bri will open so those who are successfully able to open the bri window like this reply with a done uh, in my case you can see that there are so many structures over here in your case it would be completely empty was not audible initially probably it would be a some internet connectivity issue but now am i audible uh, dr ranishi yes so those who able those who are able to successfully open this window reply with a done now maybe there would be some participant who would be facing the error in that particular case the java runtime would be missing in your laptop so what you can do it in that particular case now those who are having the error message what they can do it they can go back to the drive and from there you can download the java runtime 64 bit right click download and after the download process just as like any windows software click on the next 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 finish and after that re execute to open the bri from that bin folder that will fix up the trouble for you those who have joined later late or not able to execute these steps parallelly with us uh, what they can do i'll upload the recording by tomorrow morning and then you can have a practice from there it is likely that i'll upload the recording by 7:30 am okay so now uh not done it's fine not done means what Uh, is it not opening, or are you not able to do the installation, or are you not able to open the bri? Those who are not able to open able the bri window, please install the Java runtime. Java runtime 64 bit, 64 bit, 86 or 32 bit. It is not yet, uh, uh, not yet downloaded. The file will follow your recording. Sure, sure. Now I can see majority of you, those who have done the installation of bri. uh they are successfully able to open it i see only folder showing a folder name example no swati that would not be a case uh swati do one thing uh use this link which is for which i am providing you right now so this is a google drive link which i am sharing with all of you swati if you click on this uh nil uh, nilja if you click on this link you will be directly to the google drive okay now after the installation let's open the bri window and 
we need to first perform one test calculation to check the integration between your laptop configuration and the software. Because sometime what happen, we do the installation, but laptop configuration does not support the execution of this calculation. So before we go ahead with the actual calculation, let us quickly perform a test calculation. Now to perform a test calculation, please follow the step. Click on the my project option. Under my project, you have an option of example, open it. Within example, you have three folders named as crystallographic information file, PWSF, XYZ. Open the first one. Now, when you open the first one, there are various unit cell structures which are given as an example. Open the silicon unit cell structure by double clicking on it. And this you can rotate using your mouse. You have to do one, you what, what you have to do it. You need to uh, press the left key on your uh, uh, mouse and then eventually you can uh, turn it. So I hope all of you will be able to see the 3D structure of a silicon lattice. Correct. Now to perform a test calculation, what you have to do it, you need to click on the three lines which are given on the top uh, right and side over here. This. When you click on the top right hand side, there is the option of SCF. <clears throat> click on the SCF. Self consistent field theory calculation. Right now, don't worry about these parameters. We will see all of them one by one. Now, after you click on the SPF, you need to come to these three lines which are given on the bottom most left hand side. Click on this and then click on the run option. Now, when you click on the run option, right now you please see these parameters both as 1 1. Right now, don't take the higher value of 4, 8, 16, something like that. Right now you make it one one one. We'll see what exactly you have to do it. You need to click on these three lines. Select the SPF. You need to click on these three lines. Click on the SCF. After you click on the SCF, <coughs> click on these three lines over here, and then click on the run. Now Tulsi, Swati, and Tripti. Are all of you able to see this kind of a window in your case? <coughs> Tulsi says I could not open the run. Uh, okay. Now. Okay. Now after that, click on the save project. Now, when you click on the save project uh, for screen like this would have opened. Now, here in, you need to create a folder at your preferred location to save the test calculation result. So, I generally prefer to save the result onto the desktop. So, I'll click on the desktop from here. And then I'll right click and I'll clear, create a new folder with a name choice of your file. So I have created a new folder named test. Open the folder by double clicking on it. And then give a file name of your convenience. So I give a file name as test. Then click on the save. Now when you click on the save, this red flag would have gone. So those who are able to reach up to over here, that means simply saving the input file. Reply with the done. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, from it. Yes, from it. Please tell. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I I clicked on the three lines near SCF, but I could not uh, go ahead. Can you tell? It? I click on three lines, then I select the SCF. Correct. After that, after that, after that, what happened? Like those. Uh, options are still there on your screen or they have gone? Yeah, it's there. They are there. 
then you need to click on the cross option when you click on the cross option those icons will disappear and therein you will see only scf after that only you will be able to click on these three lines just right? a minute just a minute yeah sir uh, you are telling yeah i clicked on the three lines then scf all right and then uh, and uh, see over here see when i click on these three lines i selected the yeah, scf yeah. and now tell me yeah. all those icons are gone or not all those icons which came over here they are still there or they are gone they are gone gone now you have to come to these three lines over here left hand side when you click on these three lines you have a option of run now when you click on the run yes. option this sort of a window would have opened correct yeah yeah now click on the save project and save the project on to the desktop done i think uh, we on the desktop on, on the desktop yeah on the desktop you create a new folder and after that uh, save the file and then uh, the folder will disappear and then this red flag will will disappear now we need to click on the okay so click on the okay participant have a look okay. on to my screen the moment you click on the okay the test calibration will start this red color flag will be shown eventually it will turn to green and will disappear this shows that calibration started completed and then now we are ready to analyze the result i hope all of you would have got now what you can yes, do yes. you can you can again click on these three lines and now you when you click on the result icon you will see three files over here input file the log file for scf and scf.env those who have got these three files quickly reply me with the okay one got the error mohan it's fine i'll try to rectify wait those who have got these three files reply with the okay or done because in that particular case you are done with the integration between your software and the laptop after that what you can do you can click yeah. on this scf just a second after that you can click on the scf you will be able to see some graph like this so those who are able to see this graph that means you are successfully able to complete the test calculation how to see the result see to see the result what you have to do it it's fine those who have got the error i'll try to rectify to see the result again you have to click on these three lines which are given on the bottom left and click on the result icon when you click on the result icon now you will be having a, you will be having a three files over here am i correct now when you click on the scf dot graph scf dot env you will be able to see the graph those who are able to see the graph like this they are successfully able to check the integration between their laptop and the software it will not give you any problem in the future now those who are having the Sir, error message Sir. yeah please for hari kush sir from from the save file please uh, to repeat the process pardon from the save from file the save uh, how to how save project? project from there yes. Yes, uh, repeat the repeat process the see to save the project are you done with the saving of a project or still not save the project no sir i don't have uh, save the project so after you are done with the saving of a project that dialog box would be there therein you need to click on the okay icon this okay icon when you click on the okay the calculation will start itself correct gorari uh, sir yes sir uh, we should press okay okay Yes, you need to press the OK. When you press the OK, the calculation will start by itself. After okay, press OK. After press OK. After press OK, the calculation will start. It will show you some icon like this, and eventually it will disappear within a one or two seconds. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. After that, after that, that's it. Right. Now come back to this test file. 
come back to this test file over here and then click on these three lines and then see the result. So now you've got the three files. Nilajiba. Yes, sir, I get result, but only so in. In. So that means we have not got the result till now. Okay. Now you have this SCF. Those who are in the SCF file, it is well and good. Now those uh, who are having the error, please reply in the chat box with the error because this needs to be solved first. Those who are having the error, reply in the chat box with the error. One, two, three, four. Error mean you mean uh, error when I say it means you don't have this SDF and the log file. Fine. So we have five, six participants who have got the error. Now, majority of time, why the error comes? See over here. You have this icon over here. It's fine. I, it's fine. Those who are getting the error, Java not getting downloaded. What you can do, you can download the Java from the official website as well. If you are not able to download from our drive. Okay, now where I was, I was over here. See, majority of you, those who have got the error, this simple solution fixes up the error. What is that? You have an arrow like this over here. Those who have got the error, are you able to see this icon in your case? Yes, sir. Click on these, click on this, and then you have the fourth option, path of QE, quantum espresso. Click on path of quantum espresso. Please quickly reply me in the chat box. Please quickly reply me in the chat box. Those who have got the error. In your case, are these two options are in red color or in uh, these gray color? Those who have it's got red, the red, 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 and that is a possible source of error. So now to change these red to the grayish color, basically right now it is asking for few files. Uh, and then therein you have to define the path. To define the path, please see onto my screen. Click on the first one like this. When you click on the first one like this, after that, you need to navigate to your C drive. Click on this PC. Open your C drive. And within the C drive, you have a Bri folder. Open it. Within the Bureau folder, you have a folder named exec.win, executable windows. Open it. Within that folder, you have a folder named QE, quantum espresso. Open it. Now, you don't have to click anywhere else. Just click on the select folder. And now... So from Bureau folder, 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 how... Uh, from folder... You need to navigate to a third folder which is named as exit.win. Open it. When you open the exit executable.win, there is a second folder named UE. Open it. And then after that, without clicking anywhere else, click on the select folder. Now, when you click on the select folder, that red flag would have gone. Am I correct? Right. Right. Now Again, what we need to do it, we need to remove the red flag from here. So to remove the red flag from here, we need to define a path corresponding to mpi.exe. Click on this. When you click on this, again, you need to navigate to this PC option. Within this PC, you have a C drive, open it. Within C drive, open Bureau. Within Bureau, open executable when eventually we are doing the same thing. But now instead of QE folder, you need to open the MPI folder. Open it. Now when you open the MPI folder, click on the select folder. When you click on the select folder, now that red flag will, have, will disappear. Correct? Now when these two red flags are gone, Click on the OK panel. When you click on the OK panel, done. Now, what you need to do it, you need to run the calculation to verify whether this fixes your problem. 
to run to run the calculation again click on these three lines and click on the run now you don't have to save it because you are already done with the saving process simply click on the ok icon when you click on the ok icon calculation will start and then eventually you will also get the result to check the result click on the three lines see the result panel if you get the result reply me with the done those who got the error if now you got the result reply with the done after spf when i click yeah for mohan vinay and tulsi this problem fixed devashri fixed durga fixed good uh gayatri says after spf when i click on the run i am getting a windows where it is asking me to save the project there is no option to click on the okay you need to first save the project only then the okay option will be enabled unless or until you save the project the okay option will not be enabled okay gayatri where do i have to save gayatri you need to save it at your own preferred location i prefer to save the project on to the desktop so navigate to a desktop and then save it over there if you are lagging behind i'll recommend you to please go through the recording part because we have a lot of things to be covered in the today session so those who are lagging back don't get worried tomorrow morning all of you will receive the recordings from recordings you can practice it okay now coming back click on this arrow now essentially what we need to do it we need to see what are the options which are available within the bureau let yourself be familiar with this software so now this is the option a tiny home like option this we called as the home icon so during the training i'll say so many times the home icon so home icon mean you need to click on this when you click on this you will see these many options over here the first option is recently used when you click on the recently used now in my case there are so many file in your case there will be only one file which is named as test or the file name which you would have given am i correct <clears throat> yes sir correct so now see the applicability of the software so now in your near future what's what calculations you will perform all those calculation will be automatically saved when i say automatically saved it mean when you will save it you will be able to see the results corresponding to it within this particular option of recently used all your calculation will be shown shown over here that means you don't have to navigate to individual folders then there is the option of my computer when you click on the my computer option you can see all those folders which are present within your c drive so in the c drive we have so many folders you will create it on day number 3 and we'll see the relevance of it third option my project this we have already seen example folder if you open there are three file types which the bureau is support sif file xyz and pwsf this xyz file format majority of you would be familiar with it those who uses a uh, camdro camby office avogadro gaussian gauss view in all the software there is the option to save the molecular structure with a file name or file extension xyz or sky file format am i correct those who are familiar with this software they would have seen that we can save the molecular structure with the sky file format xyz am i correct there are a lot of software avogadro mercury you can use any one of them correct so those <clears throat> so those files you can open it from here from the xyz file format okay like we have this h2o h2o structure it will show you over here and to create a unit cell around it what you need to do it you need to click on these three lines click on the designer option when you click on the designer option over here there is an option of cell when you click on this drag box it will show you a unit cell around the water molecule tell me how many of you are able to execute this check we had a bare water molecular unit 
we had a bare water molecular unit we have created a cubical unit cell around it how to create let me show you back so home icon i have this h2 xyz double click open when you double click open you have the three lines over here and within this three lines you have the option of designer when you click on the designer there are so many options which are available over here participant have a look over there now over here you can change the atomic model to ball and stick to ball or only stick or ball and stick so that is completely up to your preference we generally go with the ball and stick model then you can change the background like in all the research majority of research article you will find people using white background so select the white background from here excuse me sir yes uh, so how to add how to add the unit cell around the h2 molecule i am i am just coming to it i am just coming to it i am going in a little yeah. sequential manner now okay okay you can change the font colors like these dialog these options these are the two atom types which are there in the system and they are represented in the black color you can change the color from here to whatsoever color you would like to specify so these are you can just say the image editing process which is going on show axis show legend yes we are over able to see the axis over here x y z if you don't want to see the axis on the screen click on this drag box now for a hydrogen atom by default white color is assigned in majority of the software and that is what this software also uh, consider but if you would like to change the color of the atom Papa. just click on the box main chhodunga ab ruk jao to change the color of atom you can click on this box and select the color of your choice like if let us say you would like to specify black color to a hydrogen select it that is up to you there is no universal color coding similarly if you would like to increase the atomic radii so that the atom will look little prominent you can increase the atomic radii from here like this that is completely up to you eventually when you will do the calculation they will revert back to the same idle size but for the uh, imaging uh, you can increase or decrease the size so that the figures will look little, little clean you can change the bond width like let us say the bond is not visible then what you can do you can increase the bond width the bond will become more and more prominent so there is no change in the bond length bond order it is only the bond thickness or in terms of depiction which has changed now to create a unit cell by default this dialog box would be no what you need to do it you need to click on the no it will show you yes and now you will get the unit cell or all of you done up to over here and then you can change the cell width from 1 to 2 to 3 or 4 whatsoever you would like to do it this will show you the more prominent uh, unit cell so these are the few of the options which are available within the designer option so that you can change the images uh, according to your suitability i hope this little designer option would be clear to all of you after doing all this check please make sure uh, to click on this back arrow when you click on the back arrow all those changes which you would have done it will show you within the input structure okay now let me come back to that home icon within the home icon now you have a option named as calculating so whatsoever projects or jobs in computational science we call the calculation as job so whatsoever calculation or job would be going on it will be depicted over here so right now as we can see there is no file that means no calculation is going on previously some participant got the confusion that sir over here it is saying calculating so some calculation would be going on no calculating just display what calculation is going on so since nothing is displayed over here that means nothing is getting calculated you can submit n number of calculation noted down the software will perform only one calculation at a time that means 
what you can do it you can design some 10 15 20 calculations submit all of them at night time morning time when you will wake up depending on the calculation time majority of the calculations would be done is this one clear to all of you or not how to make use of the resources to the best daytime you try to analyze the result night time when you are idle your laptop is idle no other process is going on you generate the input files and save them and run them Nothing will run except the one project. Once the one calculation goal complete, then only the second one will start. And then the third one will start. So by the time you get up, all the calculation will be done. Is this one clear to all of you or not? Now, these are the three or more option, but not of much use. So I'll not go through that. Now within the test file, I'll come back. So participant come back to the test file because over here we need to see few things. I'll click on these three lines and click on the geometry panel. When I click on the geometry panel, I'll see a few things like this over here. Have all of you reached up to over here? Now, there are few tabs. The first tab says cell. Now, within the cell, you can see that there are research scholars. How many type of brevis lattices we have? Different type of brevis lattices we have. Well, uh, Nilabja, think about it one more time. Brevis lattices, not unit cell. Exactly. We have 14 type of brevis lattices. And in Burai, all these 14 type of Burai lattices, Burai, uh, all these type of uh, brevis lattices are defined with some mathematical number, like for a cubic primitive. Simple cubic, it represents a first structure. Cubic FCC, second structure. Cubic BCC, third structure. Note down this number because we are going to see them again. Can you go back a little? Uh, Nilabja, I can see that you are a little slow. Please follow the recording part because we have a lot to cover. Okay. Now, after that, you can see that... Uh, this is the some mathematical value which is listed. This is basically the edge length of your unit cell in Angstrom unit. Since it's a cubical system, so nothing is specified under B and C because they are going to be equal. Alpha, beta, gamma, the angle between the x, y, y, z and z, x. Cubical system, all are 90 by default. So nothing is mentioned over there. Now, when you click on the element panel, once you click on the element panel, it will show you what are the different type of elements you have in your system. So like in this particular case, I have only silicon. It displays silicon and its corresponding atomic mass. There is something which is pseudo potential over here. This we will discuss in the tomorrow session because this requires a lot of time. Now click on the atom panel. When you click on the atom panel, it will show you the different atoms depending on their position in three dimensional panels. Like as an example, when I click on the first silicon, I can see that this represents all corner position silicon atom. Similarly, when I click on the second one, this represents participant, what will I call? This is a tetrahedral void or octahedral void. This silicon atom. Is this a tetrahedral void or octahedral void? Fundamental chemistry here. Yeah. Correct. It's a tetrahedral void. So we can say that this particular second silicon atom, it is present within the tetrahedral void, and these are the Cartesian coordinates. Similarly, when I click on the third one, now how will you define that these are the body centered atom or two oppositively uh, face centered atoms. The third one. Exactly. Likewise, when I click on the fourth one, again a tetrahedral. Fifth one, opposite face center. Tetrahedral, opposite face center and tetrahedral. So different type of atoms according to their position are listed over here. Is this one clear to all of you or not? One more thing I would like to cover over here. 
see you can change these atom types you can change this atom type like as an example i want to okay for a timing i'll call this process as a doping but this is not a doping this is rather an atomic manipulation let us say i would like to dope this system and make it a n type so what i'll do i'll add a atom from group number 15 so let us say i would like to substitute the silicon with the phosphorus so what i'll do i'll select the silicon of my choice let us say i would like to substitute this silicon please listen to the step i'll double click on it so that it will become editable for me i'll click backspace so that this will remove si from the option i'll type phosphorus from my side and make sure you press the enter key now when you press the enter key this replaces one of the silicon atom with the phosphorus when you click on this ball two three time it will show you the solid surface reply me in the chat box are you able to change the silicon with atom of your choice i replace the silicon with the phosphorus you can make it any other atom of your choice similarly like if i would like to change the two opposite face centered silicon atom with hydrogen i'll put up the hydrogen over here and will press the enter now you can see that the bonds have also disappeared because silicon silicon bond lines would be different as compared to silicon hydrogen so right now silicon hydrogen bond length will not be this much so therefore right now it does not depict any bond over here is this point clear to all of you or not so i can make n number of substitution according to or convenience of my choice and whatsoever changes you make that will reflect over here that now instead of one single atom you have three types of atom over here if you click back on this element panel you will be able to see that previously we had only one silicon atom now we have phosphorus as well and hydrogen as well so as many as different type of elements you will take over here it will be reflected within this element panel automatically are all of you done up to over here participant we have to stretch the session by 5 minutes is it okay for all great okay. now okay yeah yeah please see over here you have these three lines left hand side bottom you have these three lines when you click on these three lines over here there is the option named as input file when you click on the input file you will see something like this am i correct am i correct yes so see what i said quantum espresso it work basically on some commands so these are those commands which you rather have to specify which you rather have to specify so that the quantum espresso will perform the calculation if you are well versed with the programming you can write down all these code from yourself otherwise the software will automatically edit them like as an example if i click back on the atom <coughs> sorry and replace this hydrogen with let us say uh, aluminum and press the enter and now if i come back over here see right now it says i have silicon phosphorus hydrogen the moment i click on this circle reload it will automatically refresh the different type of atoms which are present within the system so whatsoever changes you will make through the gui graphical user interface it will automatically reflect in your programming codes is this point clear to all of you or not so therefore this gui software it dramatically reduces your what could i say learning time you don't have to learn the sequence codes and all and all okay now when you click back i'll close this input file now when you click okay i forgot to show you one more thing within the input file there are few things which are written a stands for the edge length a stands for the edge length in angstrom unit i bravis stands for type of bravis lattice so as like i said cubical system bravis lattice bri defined with the mathematical number 1 so that is why it represent over 1 over here 
if you will take some different system like KNO3 or non cubical system, the Bramus lattice number will change. An atom represents the number of atoms depending on the atomic position. So, as we can see that there are eight different atomic positions, it represents eight over here. N type is basically the number of atom depending number of elements, <clears throat> number of different type of elements. So we have three different type of elements. That is why it reflects three over here. Then accordingly, the pseudo potential files and the masses and their position. Now I'll come back over here. When you click on these three lines, you will be able to say there are few options which are available over here. What are these options? So using the Burai, you can easily predict self-consistent field theory calculation, which is basically the energy calculation. You can optimize your system. That means you can predict the stability of your system or even stabilize your system. Like those people who are working in the field of adsorption phenomena, this optimization will be extremely useful for them. You can predict adsorption energies and so and so. We can carry out molecular dynamics calculations. We can carry out density of states calculation. We can carry out band structure, dispersion curve, E versus K calculation. Now, there are three more things which you can see. NAD, I am not much familiar with it. TDDFT stands for time dependent density function of theory calculation for non calculation. So, right now, these three types of calculation cannot be executed using Burai. Quantum Espresso does, but Burai team is not able to integrate these three options with the Quantum Espresso. They are working on, as soon as they will be able to integrate Burai with the Quantum Espresso for these three type of calculation, these options will also come over here. I remember when I started to learn this software long back, maybe some five, six years back, that time only optimization, field optimization was there. Now they have added the MD, DOS, band, and now their next project is to integrate TDDFT and Phonon. As early as they will implement through the update, you will receive the implementation. I hope these options would be clear to all of you. So one by one, we have seen few options like over here in these three lines, result, run, designer, save, save as. Modeler, I'll explain on day number four because this has to be seen uh, when we will design the monolayer, bilayer, trilayer, uh, supercell, doping, nanoparticles. So that time this model option we will explore. Input file, we have seen. So today's session, I would rather say it was just an introductory session wherein we started with the installation of the software, performed the test calculation, saw the applicability of this software in the literature, we saw how the test calculation work and how we can analyze the how to access the result, the various options which are available within the Burai, different type of calculation with the software can support, how to make the atomic substitutions, design the unit cell of your choice, formulate the background color and so and so. I hope today's fundamental session would be clear to all of you. Quickly reply in the chat box. I need to confirm with the speed with which we're going on. Great. So with that, now in the tomorrow session, please listen to me. For the tomorrow session, the objective is to start with the SCF calculation. Now, why do we have to do the SCF calculation? Because participant, I assume that majority of you are experimental researchers. When you do some experimental studies, I am pretty sure you define some input or initial parameter like the temperature of your experiment, pressure of your experiment, concentration of your experiment. Similarly, in computational science as well, before we execute our main experimental calculation like band structure, density of states, magnetization, we, would, we define few initial parameters. Now, what are those initial parameters? If you click on these three lines, click on the SCF, they are basically the work function, charge, total charge, K point. Now, how to fix these few initial parameters 
for different type of molecular system that we shall learn in the tomorrow session tomorrow session will perform scf energy convergence to fix initial parameter for all subsequent calculation don't miss the live session we'll meet up tomorrow at sharp 9 i hope today session would be very uh, to, would be bit informative to all of you not much of a scientific thing uh, fundamental things we have studied with that we'll meet up tomorrow at sharp 9 participate before you leave the session uh, one thing which you need to note it down we don't have any whatsapp group because previously we created a whatsapp group and then few number got shared with each and every individual and then some misuse uh, uh we had seen in terms of some unnecessary upi payments so therefore we are not creating any uh, whatsapp group uh if some of you would like to create a whatsapp group of your choice you can create otherwise we will not share also we are not uh, creating any email group or so all other communication from our side will be through either through our official website or through email id we have only three email ids nikhil agarwal at the rate alumni.iitm.ac.in or all other email ids which have at the rate aimsdelhi.com no other email ids for all subsequent communication the recording i'll upload tomorrow in this recording folder day number 1 you can access it similarly day to day 3 will be uploaded over here certificates will be uploaded over here and majority of the examples which we will deal i'll upload over here that means you don't have to wait for re receiving the recording on daily basis you will find all the recording within this google drive so no further communication for zoom meeting link for entire session the zoom meeting link will re remain same sometimes it happen that we have to cancel or postpone the session due to some circumstances only then you will able be uh, only then you will receive the mail otherwise no further communication from our side it creates a trouble so many mails sir up to when recorded lecture will be available you can see that uh, see we have conducted so many session i remember till now we have not deleted the recording of those participant which we conducted in march so you can say up to 6 7 months they will be there within that 6 and 7 months i assume that all of you will be able to record download them to so download them right click and then simply click on the download and then you can use it anytime anywhere of your convenience four five months definitely they will be there on the drive okay after that you may have to delete chaliye with that i hope today's session would be informative to all of you i thanks all the participant for joining the today's session so got bit late by 8 minute we'll meet up tomorrow now sir can you add my gmail id uh, uh they much we just text me the same thing by a whatsapp okay you can send me a whatsapp message on 9790 my number i hope all of you would be having it with you uh, prefer to communicate with me over the whatsapp for a quick reply 9790969349 okay chaliye the bag will take up ali will meet up tomorrow at sharp 9 pm thanks to all of you sir can i install the software in the pirated window you can install it there is no issue with that window see i assume that majority of uh, uh, people they use pirated windows pirated office and few more pirated software so we don't have to worry about that the main thing is the software which we are using for quantum mechanical calculation it should be genuine we are using the genuine quantum espresso software one more thing if you are using the quantum espresso for your research article purpose you need to cite this article i hope how to cite the article that would be clear to all of you okay that is the only thing which this quantum espresso team require nothing more than that okay chaliye we'll take up a leave now thanks to all of you you are most welcome to all thank you sir <coughs>